to Lisa. Sorry, Lisa. Hi. Hi. Okay. Uh, you, you mentioned you read a book. Which book was that? The feeding and Care of Husbands. Proper Care and Feeding of Husbands. Right. Actually, okay. my husband read it, and I perused through it. And in 30, close to 30 years of marriage, um, we really need to work on a communication. And I know I'm bossy, and I'm demanding, and a bitchy, and when PMS hits, I'm all of the above. So I was really trying oh. to help our marriage, and he was trying and reading the book. So... I thought that could be a way to help us both, and <clears throat> and you have a lot of great tips in there. Feed your husband, make him, the, you know, I, I don't know exactly the, the wording that you use, but in order just to lift him up. But in doing so, with all the demands that are placed on me, it kind of leaves me empty, and I'm not, my needs aren't fulfilled, so I can't find a balance. I try to do it I don't, I don't quite understand what exactly leaves you empty. Well, in fulfilling his needs... What needs are those? Uh, well, I work full-time, I go to school full-time, I try to keep, take care of the house by doing the shopping, uh, raising our children, uh, paying the bills. I mean, he works and he brings in an income, we both do, but... I take on a lot of the responsibilities um, of, of running a house. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry, you're silent. Well, I'm just trying to listen to you and without over-talking, overstating myself. Oh, okay. Sounds like you have a lot on your plate. Yes. Yes, I do. And I think that um, that was a great book you wrote, and if, to him it was the answer, because if I fix me, then it'll solve our marriage problem, because I'm the problem. When I think that we share it, but he doesn't agree. What does he want you to change? Well, not be so demanding, not be so bossy. And, okay, I agree with that. Um, so have you stopped all that? Uh, yes, I, I, I have. I've tried really working on it. Um, mm -hmm. Not have to be so demanding. To, to close hey! his mouth when we're, we're in disagreement, not to be no. so um, aggressive or forceful. Well, you don't have much respect for him, though. I, that's what he says. <laughs> well, you don't. And... I don't well, feel that I'm well, you don't. Yeah. Well, you don't have much respect for your man. Yeah. You pretty much run everything. Yes. It's been given to me, and, well, because... Well, I don't know if it's been given to you, or you took it, or you made it difficult for him to do it, because... Right, you don't know Because yeah. you're kind of forceful about how things should be done. Yes. And men tend to abdicate just not to have a fight. And that could that could be partially true. And another reason could be that he just didn't feel confident in doing it, and I am overly confident. And oh, sure, I can do it, not a problem. Okay, you don't want to do it? No, I I can handle it. But then I took all these roles and tasks on early in our marriage, and approaching my late forties, I am exhausted. Yeah, I, I understand that. So if you demurred in a womanly way to him and asked him to help pick up the slack for you, that would be him rescuing you. And yeah. He probably, and he'd probably like that. Yes. How do I best approach that? Because I was going to sit down and talk with him. And do you know how to act like a girl? Do you, you see the old movies in Victorian times? A yeah. woman would drop her hanky? Yeah. Her little lace hanky? Yes, I do. And the guy would come over and lift it and hand it to her, and she would just... Tell him how wonderful that was that right, he picked right, up her yeah. hanky. That's a ridiculous extreme, but you get my point. Well, I was going to say that it would, I would feel foolish doing it, but yes. I well, it's a shame that you've gotten to be a worker ant so much yes. that you've forgotten how to enjoy being womanly. Yes. I'm a pretty strong woman. Wouldn't you say that from yeah. listening to me? Oh, yeah. I, I don't sound like I'm a wussy pushover as a female, you okay? don't like to pussyfoot, you get right... No. I, I approach a door, and I will stand there for three hours until a man opens it. Okay. And then I will... Thank you!
you so much. That's very sweet. Total stranger or somebody I know, I will not move until that door is opened by a male body. Yeah. Now, why is that? Because I think it is wonderful, the play between masculinity and femininity, and I think you've lost that. Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't like to play games, and I think that's... It's not a game. It is not... Okay, just a second. Okay. It is a game, yeah. and some games are wonderful. Some games make people feel great. Yes. I'm at my... Because it's a game, it doesn't mean it's meaningless or frivolous. It's another form of communication. A lot of you very strong women think that communication means that you sit down and dictate. Yes. Communication is you look dreamily over your shoulder and say, sweetie, I can't do this anymore. My head's going to explode. Yes. Can you help me with this? Rescue me. Okay, so indirectly, I'm going to propose that. I, I'm not going to state it. I'm what are you wearing right now? I'm wearing my flannel pajamas. I thought so. Yeah, I'm homesick today, so I... It doesn't matter if you're sick. Right? Do not treat yourself like a woman. Hence, he has very little place in your life. You're thinking of marriage more like a business association rather than a delicious relationship between a man and a woman, the masculine and the feminine. Yes, there are practical things that need to be done. I don't know where that boundary is. You pushed it so far away, you're scared of it. That might be true. He wants nothing more than to you remember being a woman and enjoying it. You seem to think it's a loss and it'll make you empty. I think it'll fill you up in ways you can't imagine. I'm so empty right now, I'm desperate to try anything. Try being a woman. What would a sick woman at home call her husband for? Um, I'm not sure. Well, let's play. This is a movie. This sick woman at home, she's sniffling and her nose is red. Now, why, why would she have to call her man and what would she like him to do? Yeah, get me a Kleenex. Rub my back. Snuggle with me. Snuggle with me. Hold me while I... I... I don't do that. No. Because he doesn't see me in that room. Because you don't. No, I don't. You are his lenses. He will only see what you let him see. That's how guys are. Yeah. Now, he's going to love it. Let me reassure you and repeat it again. He's going to love it. You're not going to be embarrassed by him. You're going to feel stupid because you're out of practice. I am. I am. But he's not going to embarrass you. He is going to act like somebody just gave him a blood transfusion. Right. And honestly, that's what I want. When was the last time you talked baby talk? I've never done that. Mommy's nose stuff stuff. I don't know if I can. Let me hear you say mommy knows tough stuff. Mommy knows tough stuff. God, you are out of practice. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> mommy knows stuff stuff. Come on. Mommy knows stuff stuff. Yeah, there you go. Go up a little higher at the stuff stuff. Uh, okay. Come, come I don't on. even talk baby talk to my children. Yeah, I know. You're, you're, you're a character. We're going to loosen you up. Yeah. Mommy knows stuff stuff. Come on. Go up on the stuff stuff. stuff. No, you have to go up on the stuff stuff. Mommy needs you right now. Yeah. You gotta hold my head. I feel yucky. I feel terrible. Yeah. I need you to take care of me. Yeah. He's gonna love this. And it won't make you feel empty. It'll fill you up. Well, that's what I need right now. You've been under lifelong marching orders not to have yes. emotional needs. Yes, I have. That's what's left you empty. And that's why I've been so demanding, because I've been asking for it in the wrong manner. Exactly. I didn't know how to. I never would have thought of that approach. Well, it's not me. It is you. It's part of every woman. Yeah. 